Hey Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 5.3, number 49, and here we were given a graph and asked to write the polynomial function of least degree. And for me personally, I actually like these problems easier. I find them simpler to go backwards. And when I say backwards, I mean give me a graph and I'll come up with a function. So the first thing I always look for are the x-intercepts. So I see one here at negative 3, 0. I see one at negative 1, 0 and at 3, 0. So I'm just going to write this over here that I have 3 x-intercepts. And then the other thing I always pay attention to, because it'll help me, is the y-intercept. And so if I look at that, that's at 0, 2. All right. So what this tells me is based on these three x-intercepts, I can start to fashion my function. Ooh, that sounded fancy. So what that means is I always have this stretch factor of a, and we'll get to that in a moment. But because I have an x-intercept at negative 3, 0, I know x plus 3 was a factor. And similarly, x plus 1 is a factor because I have a 0, or I should say an x-intercept at negative 1. And then I have x minus 3. So I have my three factors, and that's great. That's a cubic, and that's about, just looking at it, this is, oh, that was the eraser, excuse me. This is a cubic, right? I can see just the pattern of it, but it's also, I can tell that because the right end is down, that my a value should be negative. So when I go to find this, I know a should be less than zero. That's just something I'm keeping in mind. Now, how do I find a? Well, that's why we have the y-intercept. So I'm gonna plug in zero for x, and I'm going to plug in 2 for y. So quite literally, and let me stay consistent with my color coding. I'm going to put 0 here, 0 here, 0 here, and I'm going to put a 2 here. So I'm going to plug in that ordered pair and solve for a, and my a value should be negative. So let me switch pens here, and let's try this. So I get 2 is equal to a times, all right, so this should be 0 plus 3 times 0 plus 1 times 0 minus 3. So if I'm looking this, at this, I have a times 3 times 1 times negative 3. So that looks like 2 is equal to oops, negative 9a, or a will be negative 2 ninths. So what I'm going to do now is just plug that a value in here, and let me scroll down. All right, and there we see my function, right? I know, I, and it, it worked, right? It worked, well, math works. But I, I did get that negative a value, and I should have just based on the graph. Now, if you want to multiply this out, you can, right? You could sit here and foil these two, and then foil, uh, you could do all of that. But I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm solid here. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.